So this is Reloise? Yes, Ba'ul says it is. But I don't see any air crenate or Antilochea. Looks like we can take this path down. It's a long way down. Yes, it is. Now that is a sight to behold. Please be careful not to fall, Patty. Carol's the one you ought to be worrying about taking a tumble here. Uh, that's not true. Let's get going. Let's get going. Yes, yes, it looks like that's all we can do. Hey, why don't we just ride Ba'ul all the way to the bottom? No, it's narrow, and the wind is all over the place. It's a little too dangerous. This wind is fierce indeed. This place must be where all the gales are born. That means this valley is the mother of the wind. The mother of the wind, huh? I can see a I river see way a down river at the bottom! This is what happens when a river wears away at the earth for years and years. Ah, power of nature. Who knows how long it took to make this. Whoa! I get all dizzy when I look straight down. Idiot. <laughs> well, just make sure you don't slip and fall. Three. 
There's no way we're gonna lose. This kind of stuff gets to us, old folks. Come on, old man. Yeah, you're gonna have to climb back up when we're done. He's dead. Someone's coming! Person? Here? You. Duke. Appearing out of nowhere as usual. Many thanks for rescuing Yuri. Why are you the one thanking him? What are you doing here? We heard there was an Antilochia here. We came to ask it to become a spirit. 
A spirit? A being that comes from reincarnating in Entelechaea through an apatheia. We might be able to solve the air problem completely with the spirit's power. By converting air into mana. I see. That's why. Duke? Reincarnation. Converting air. You are trying to remake the world itself, all to solve a problem that humans themselves brought about. Such arrogance. But if we don't fix the air problem, the Autophagos will destroy the world. Bellius understood. She became Undine and is lending us her power. Indeed! Humans in Entelechaea can find a way to coexist by pushing these boundaries. Even so, I do not accept it. I will protect this world. You said that before. So just how do you plan to protect the world? I will not interfere with you, so do not interfere with me. Ahead lies one of the oldest springs in the world. Pay it due respect. So you won't answer the main question? Hmm. Farewell. I doubt we shall meet again. Uh, hey! He's gone! Such a warm and fun-loving little fellow. I wonder what he's trying to do. I don't know, but I have a bad feeling about it. Let me go ask him. Not a soul alive would refuse to answer a beautiful laugh. Patty, darling, you just don't have the good graces for an approach like that to work. Rita, is something wrong? Well, I bet with his sword, with Dane Nomos, we could focus the spirit's energy on the Autophagos. Should we chase him down and ask him to lend it to us? Yeah, I don't think he's in much of a giving mood right now. Me neither. Well, whatever we do, we have to get all the spirits first. Let's focus on that for now.
You picked the wrong people to... This is the oldest spring in the world. It's so quiet. The air is so clear. Never would have thought a place like this was at the bottom of the mountain. I feel so... at ease. This isn't really a good time to kick back and relax, but... It is so peaceful. Watch it! That's air, not water. It's really dense. You shouldn't go near it. You came. Hey, that's... We met you at the castle, didn't we? It doesn't look like you're trying to avenge Alexei. Duke didn't listen to you, did he? He's trying to protect the world in his own way. So what is Duke trying to do? He's trying to exchange the lives of humans to protect the world. What? Why would Duke do something like that? He doesn't trust humans. But Duke helped us! He even lent us his beloved blade! I assume he saw some of himself in you, or perhaps he thought he wouldn't have to get his hands dirty as long as you were around. What are you... Why are you telling us about Duke? I think it's time you showed who you really are, Antilochea. Huh? What do you want? Is this just a roundabout way of saying you're not going to help? I too cannot trust humans. But neither do I want to see him take revenge on his own kind. If you can truly save the world, then I will not refuse to help. However, you have chosen a different path. You will likely confront each other. Yeah, maybe. If he is beyond your power, then nothing in this world can stop him. I will test your strength. Here she comes.
You were watching over everything. Leave the rest to us. I can do it. I need a pill. Marvelous. Perhaps you all can, indeed, save the world. Chroma. Do as you wish. Estelle, come on. Judith? Right. Do it. It worked! Comrade has been born. One who controls the winds. At times calm, at times violent. There is nothing to fear. She will awaken shortly. Thank you, Undine. Chroma did say she wanted us to stop Duke. It seemed like Chroma knew a lot about Duke. Indeed. Maybe we can ask her more when she's awake. Let's head back for now. Right. We don't have time to just hang around here. Oh, not that path again. These old bones of mine are tired. Pick the wrong people. Who's next? 
I can't wait to fight this one. Get ready for anything. were a little more stable, I could get Baul down here. My consciousness. This is what it means to become a spirit. Oh, to think of all the things that were hidden from me. Good morning, lass. Guess she's awake. So, would you still prefer to be called Chroma? No, I am no longer the Antilochea known as Chroma. You should give me a new name. Well... How about Sylph? It means the Binder of Winds. Sylph. Very well. That shall be my name. Okay, Sylph. Nice to meet you. Again. A pleasure to meet you, too. Sylph, would you tell us why Duke hates humans? Very well. You know about the Great War, right? There were Intelikea who chose to live with humans, and those who chose to oppose them. The Great War was between humans who broke an ancient prohibition and the Antilochea who opposed them. And the war ended when the hero Duke won victory for the humans. Duke's a hero? Really? That's one of the truths the Empire's hiding. They glossed over it by spreading convenient little lies. It was simple but efficient. Patty? Humans alone could not have won that war. Elucifer, the leader of the Antilochea advocating living with humans, fought alongside them and granted them victory. Are you serious? Even I never heard that. But what does this have to do with Duke not trusting humans? Elucifer was Duke's friend. Duke fought with Elucifer against the leader of the ones who opposed humans and defeated him. However, once the war ended, the Empire feared Elucifer's power. They assaulted the injured Elucifer and took his life. He had promised Duke that he would merely watch, but it didn't matter. No. Now I get it. Anyone would stop trusting humans after that. I had no idea that was going on during the war. It must have been so hard on Duke. But it doesn't matter how badly he was betrayed. He has no right to sacrifice every human life. If you do not destroy the Autophagos before Duke, in the end, humanity will be destroyed. Hurry! I have calmed the winds. I believe Baul can reach you now. Thank you, Sylph. So the spirits are working out all right. Duke isn't. Yeah. Are you angry, Yuri? Yeah, a little. Is it about the events of Duke's past that Sylph shared with us? So basically, Duke's doing what he's doing to clean up the mess made by an idiot. The whole thing is just so stupid. Even though Duke and Elucifer were both fighting for humanity's sake, it's so sad. Like the hero who shined so bright that people couldn't look at him and got scared. The overwhelming power caused people to fear him. It's all so stupid.
This looks like the center of the crystallization. It's beautiful. Like we're in a dream. It's air that crystallized at low density. Is this mana? I have to take a sample. This entire forest is a treasure! But it likely won't fit on the ship. Just how do they come up with such different reactions? They just shatter! <laughs> this is fun! You're so stupid. Nature didn't make this, you know. Huh? What do you mean? The center of a new land that just crystallized. Somewhere around here is the one who made that happen. And an air crane. What's up, Rapide? Find something? This is... Someone crushed these crystals, and it wasn't us. What curious fellow would venture all the way out here? Looks like someone got here before us. Watch out. That weapon! Nan! I warn you, the hunting blades are currently patrolling the area. Leave it! Nan! These wounds are terrible. Come on, Nan! Carol, what are you doing alone? Where's the boss and Tyson? Master and the others went on. What? They left you behind? The boss is one thing, but I can't believe Tyson wouldn't take you. What happened? We wound up fighting our target here. I... I couldn't do anything. Just like always. Master said it's because I had doubts. Doubts? I hate monsters. They shouldn't be alive. I still feel that way. But now, at a time like this, hunting monsters isn't that important. There are other things we should be doing. When I told him that... They up and left you fools with everything the way it is how can they not take another look at their lives that's terrible i mean nan's right relax carol hey the hunting blades are after entelikea right we should hurry yeah nan can you walk huh yeah it's too dangerous to be alone here come with us nan carol okay
you picked the wrong people. So the hunting blades have a history with them. So which one of them is our buckle? Which one is what now? Judith, wait! Something's wrong! to him. It doesn't look like he's in the mood for talking. There is a limit to how much air the Antilochea can ingest. Those who ingest more cannot endure it. They change and... No! Become out of Bogos themselves. What? So he got like this by trying to protect the world. Gusios, go. Save him. While he is still Gusios. Right. Okay.
Just hope this saves him. It's all we can do. I can do it. I'm even Lucios, I'm sorry. What? He's gone. Now you want to hate this too? That's the soul of that monster. I've got the crush. He's not a monster. They were trying to protect the world. This is something even a sea slug could understand with a bit of thought. I don't care what the Antilochia were for. You knew. All this time, you knew what the Antilochia were. You knew and you still hunted them? With the world like it is? Ten years ago, the Antilochia killed my family. And it's not just me. Most of the hunting blades have lost something important to monsters. No matter what happens to the world, my feelings for these things will never change. But you're wrong. What? No matter what you do, you can't bring anyone back. You aren't the only ones who lost loved ones in the war. But some try to be positive and keep living. You can't save anyone, yourself included, if all you do is lash out in hatred. Instead, you should treasure the ones who are still here. I think it's admirable to protect a city from monsters, but... Don't just be pig-headed about it. Do it when the world is, you know, okay. It's too late for me to change. Huh. If you're gonna get in our way, then we'll settle things here. Chief. <sighs> Please wait! Let me at least heal you. Get up, you maggots! We're withdrawing! Thank you. I wonder if he understood. Who knows? So let's make a spirit. I guess it worked. But he's not opening his eyes or moving or anything. His consciousness itself was nearly taken. He will not wake for a while. Now give him a name. What's his element? A power rooted deep within the world. Earth itself. Earth? Hmm. The spreader of roots. Gnome. The spirit of Earth. Gnome. Let us tell him once he awakens. I can't believe Entelikea who try to control air. Wind up as Autophagos. Huh. <laughs> People can't understand anything except what they see with their own eyes. So after all that happened, turns out the worst thing in the world is people. Humans. We're our own worst enemy. Which means we have to work that much harder. Yeah, you're right. So his family was killed by the Antelikea. Clint, was it? The grudge he's got against them won't fade anytime soon. Maybe he has his reasons, but I think just hunting monsters has been his purpose for a while. I was like him once. I only lived to destroy Blastia. But you've grown since then. Then maybe he can still change, like you did, Judith. I don't know. Either way, we've got our own goals to- Huh? Yeah, you're right!
one. Get ready for anything. Flying. Any idiot could come along and take him out. He couldn't put up a fight like this. It's probably so humans won't get his apatheia. Human greed knows no bounds. Even the sky offers no sanctuary. Then there really isn't anywhere that's safe. Pharaoh! Hey, he's landing! I it looks like he's calling us. Let's go. Pharaoh? Pharaoh, come on! I'm sorry. It was all for us. What do you mean? Pharaoh was a decoy for us at Zaude. The fate of the world is set. We shall meet our end. Duty unfulfilled. How unfortunate. You give up pretty fast for someone who fought for so long. Sorry. But things aren't over yet. Zaude is lost. The Adifagos has returned. Neither humans nor we possess the power of old. What more can be done? There's still hope. There's a new power. We would like you to become a spirit. A being that can control air even more. But to do that, we need your apathy. You ask me to hand over my life. <sighs> your heart alone cannot save the world. But you must have the heart to save it. I am not long for this world. Do with me as you please.
What if he doesn't help us when he becomes a spirit? Pharaoh loves the world. It'll be fine. Shall we? But the air crane here is all dried up. If I follow the flow of the air back, I should be able to pull it from within the world. Are you sure? Undine is telling me that. Okay. so different before and after becoming spirits. They have totally different points of view. It's like, imagine if a fish became a bird. This is better for them than being some sage, always worrying about the world. You know, we're up to our eyeballs in problems. Saving the world sure keeps a guy busy. Well, the problems we're dealing with are a lot bigger than they used to be. What? Why is everybody looking at me? I got something on my face? Problems like you, Yuri. A lot. I hear that. Fate is definitely out to get you. <laughs> After everything that's happened, I'm starting to wonder myself. But hey, I've done a pretty good job of getting us out of whatever mess we're in, right? You gotta at least give me some credit there. See, for Yuri, the end of the world's just one more problem that needs solving. Maybe that attitude's what's kept us seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. Gotta love the power of positive thinking. We managed to get the four elemental spirit! Yeah. Now. We have to convert the world's Blastia cores to spirits. Right. If we could control the Artifagos with just those four, then we wouldn't need the others. That thing is not exactly something you want to take on lightly. We better make damn sure we're set. There's no second chance. I know, I know. Just by creating the spirits, we've already changed Tergalumarais. Even if it is to save the world, we've been making these decisions all on our own. Now we're changing the lives of everyone in the world. That can't be just our decision. Yeah, you're right. If we can't get them to understand what we're trying to do, we're just as bad as Alexei. But we don't have time. But we can still talk to the Imperial Knights and the Guilds, right? But if they don't approve of how we're doing things, we will become the great evil. I can't stand by and watch the world be destroyed. Even if Duke manages to save the world his way, it doesn't mean anything if there's no one left to live in it. So I don't care if people call me evil. I will give up the Blastia to defeat the Autophagos. What are you going to do? If you want to get off, now's the time. I'm going. 
My life belongs to brave Vesperia anyway. Me too. Pharaoh and Bellius left it to us, and I don't like leaving things half finished. I know what it feels like to regret what you didn't do. If I stop now, I'll really regret it. Yeah, me too. I don't want to feel like that. No matter what path I choose, I can take whatever happened. I've learned that on this journey. And the people of the world will understand. They're strong enough to take a changing world. Yeah. We do this today so we can laugh tomorrow. That's what I believe. <laughs> what are you gonna do, Patty? It's obvious, isn't it? I'm coming too. <laughs> All right, everyone. Together until the end. So let's get ready and then go talk to His Majesty Yoder and the people in the Union. So what exactly do you need to get ready? Leave it to me. I want to stop by a city somewhere. I need to pick up some stuff. How about Port Nor? It's at the edge of Elikia. I want to find out what's happened at Emmied Hill since the road was blocked too. Let's go. Efreet, Gnome, Sylph, the spirits of the four great elements have been born. The Entelikea were thinking of the planet after all. I was worried there for a little bit, but that wasn't too bad. You call surviving by the skin of our teeth not too bad? Ha! Ow! A anyway, we can defeat the Autobagos for sure now, right? Not yet. There's still too many unknown variables. Hypothesize, test, evaluate, then prove. We have to follow the proper steps to ensure success. I'm not even sure how effective the four elements will be in converting air to mana yet. Wait, could the mana from the loss of materialized air created by the spirits be maintaining the balance? If so, then I shouldn't be measuring the actual value, but... No, that's not right. I mean... Okay, she's gone. Yup, I'd say there's nothing to worry about. Thank you. 